In this video we're going to take a look at the new reading progress function that's available to us in Microsoft Teams assignments. However, we're going to come at it from a slightly different angle where we're going to look at it as a passage to be read out uh, in German as part of a language course. Currently, reading progress within assignments supports 37 languages. So let's see how we can set up the assignment. We'll get a student to read it out for us and then we'll look at how we can then grade that. So to get started, I need to go into assignments. Click create as we normally would. Go to assignment. And we can start to work our way down, down the page. So let's give it a title. And then we'll put some instructions in. Next we can now start to look at how we can set up the, the, the reading progress area. We go to attach. And down the list towards the bottom we've got reading progress and now Microsoft Teams is going to invite us to upload a Word or a PDF. There are some additional functions going to be made available soon. But click on the button and this opens up a, a window and we can bring our passage in from a OneDrive or from a network drive. Today we've got it coming in from a folder. So here's our German language assignment text. I'll select it and then click open. That now uploads it for us. So as you can see, we've got our text in English, but also this is what we want our students to read out at the bottom here. So I'm actually going to delete the English part of this. So to do that, I can select edit. I'll highlight it and then remove it. Once I'm happy with my edit, I just click on the little tick at the bottom here. and That's now ready to go. I can at this point reverse out totally and choose a completely different passage. I can make further edits if I wish. And if I was to click the student view button, that would then take me through to another page and would see basically exactly what our student will be seeing uh, when they come to open the assignment. However, the important part is over on the right here. So we've got our reading level. So number of things you can put in here. So you can either set it up as a beginner, intermediate or advanced. You can also put in reading levels. So you could look at reading levels one to 10 or reading level A through to Z, depending on how you wish to uh, grade your assignment. I'm gonna put mine into advanced. Genre is going to be nonfiction. And I have the option of a number of attempts for my student to go at. So it defaults to unlimited, but I can set it up to up to 10 goes. I'm going to keep it at unlimited for today's session. And then beneath that, I have my pronunciation sensitivity. So it sets to a default, but I can either make it less sensitive for less confident readers, or I could really set it up for more sensitive. This would be for a, a more advanced uh, advanced reader. So I'm going to set it to more sensitive because my student who's going to be reading this has been doing the German course for uh, quite some time now. So I can also switch video on and off for this, which means that when my student comes to read the passage, their camera will be activated if their particular device allows that. And as a teacher, I will also be able to then see how my student is coping uh, with the passage. So now that we've chosen our setting levels, I can click next. And then we have our German language assignment text attached to our assignment. So now we can go on to set up our grading criteria. Rubrics do work with this as, as it does with any normal assignment. However, I'm just going to give max out of 10. This is going to be assigned to my German group and to all students by default. However, today, I just want it to go to an individual student and this will be for Susan. And I can now set my due dates. So I'm going to give it one week and I want the submission time to be five o'clock in the afternoon. Now that I'm happy with the setup of the assignment, all I need to do now is to click assign and that will now be sent to my student. So here's the assignment in our assigned area. I can click on it. And as we can see, Susan's opened it up. She's already viewed it. But let's now go and have a quick look at what the student sees and how that student would now complete the assignment. So here we are in Susan's German class and we'll click on assignments and here's the work that we've just set. Again, I can click on it there. This opens up the assignments page and 
Susan can now just click on the attachment. That will open it up. So as the page opens, if the camera is activated, the student will see the camera view here. As we can see, the microphone is switched on. The student can click the close button here. That will take them back to the assignment page. Or if they're ready to start, they can just click the button here, the start button here. They do get a countdown. And as we can see at the top here, it's recording. However, before they actually get uh, started on it, they can actually change the page somewhat. So at the top here, they can reduce the size of the page from full screen and back. And by clicking on here, they can change the text as well. And they can increase the text size or reduce it. Increase the spacing, change the font style, and also the background as well. So we do have elements of the immersive reader functionality included within the reading progress function. So I'm going to set it back to the standard theme. We'll just close that there. And the student can now proceed with the homework. Der Reichstag ist ein historisches Gebäude in West-Berlin. Das tagte dort im April 1999 der Bundestag offiziell. Der Reichstag ist das am zweithäufigsten besuchte Gebäude in Deutschland. Once they're finished, they can click the I'm done button. They then get the option to either uh, try again or they can then use this recording and that's what's going to be submitted uh, as their assignment. So as it stands, we're just going to keep this as it is. Uh, we're going to use this recording. It will then attach this to the assignment ready for submission. And the student can then hand it in as they would uh, any other normal assignment. So now I'm back in the teacher view and I can now select assignments. Here's the uh, language passage that we set and that's now ready for uh, grading. So select it and we can see here that Susan's handed the work in and we can open it up and have a look. We can see uh, a recording ready for playback and we've got some performance data across the top here at 57 correct words per minute, uh, an accuracy rate of 94% and it also highlights such things as uh, mispronunciations, we've got some omissions, any insertions, we've got a repetition in there as well. Uh, three attempts were made at it and we're running at advanced level and there was 85 words to, to, to read, which was all part of the setup. So looking at the text itself, uh, reading progress has detected uh, that we've got three mispronunciations. We've got one omission, we've got an insertion here, and the date was repeated as well. So we can now formally start to mark the work. So we can listen to the playback in its entirety. We just hit the play button here. Der Reichstag ist ein historisches Gebäude. Well, what we can do is we can just jump to the areas uh, within the text that have been highlighted as incorrect. And to do that, we can hover our cursor just to the left of the word, pressing our left mouse button down. This gives us some options, so we can either correct it, set, set words up as mispronunciations, or we can actually jump to the word here, and it will then play from this point. Reichstag des Reiches gebaut. So as we can see, this word was omitted. We can then jump to another part of the text where there was a mispronunciation. So let's go to Landtag. Let's jump to the word. Landtag. Während er durch einen Brand schwer beschädigt wurde. And again, we can watch and listen to our student uh, reading that particular piece of text. Just over on the left here. I can switch the auto detect off, which then means I can actually listen to the whole playback and manually mark as we're going along. Der Reichstag ist ein historisches Gebäude in West Berlin. So I've got a mispronunciation here and I can work my way through the text again just by left clicking. As you can see here, I've got a repetition that's now highlighted and I can then continue on through to the end.
let me turn back on the auto detect so that we can let the system sort out the errors for me. I can also change the pronunciation sensitivity. We set it at high, but I can wind it back to medium and then right back to low. So it just displays the really bad mispronunciations, any of the emissions, repetitions and insertions in this case. So if you've got a mixed ability class, you could initially set the pronunciation to medium and then just move the slider backwards and forwards to suit the individual student. So I'm going to set this back to height. So now that we've reviewed the work, we've listened to the video, we've made any corrections if need be, we can then enter our feedback as normal. We can give it some points. Now prior to sending it back to the student, we can actually set up a report. So coming over to the left hand side of the screen, where it says return full report to student, I can click edit here. So this is what the student was going to see uh, as regarding our marking. So, so we can set it up so they can see the full report, so they can see all the headings at the top of the text. There is a simplified report as well, which just removes this top bar so they won't see this 50 correct words per minute or the 94% accuracy rate. So in this case, I'm going to set it to full report so the student gets to see the full feedback of everything. So I can also then set this full report view for either just this one homework occasion or I can set it so that all assignments being returned get to see this report. I'm just going to select just this once and go for save. I can now return the work back to the student. If I have further students to grade, I can select them from the drop down or using my left and right arrows here, I can toggle through my list of students and grade their work accordingly. As I've only got one student in this case, I can then click close and that takes me back to my assignment page. So let's go back to our student page and we'll go into assignments, complete it. So as you can see, there's the German language passage. The student can open up the work. Here's the feedback and the points awarded. The student can then click on the language assignment text and this will then display the report fed back from the teacher. Now working through the report, the student can then hover over the erroneous word by left clicking on it, they then get to see that it's a mispronunciation. They can then also listen to the word played back via the immersive reader function. The student can also jump to the word and that is then played back for them and once the student has finished reviewing their feedback they can click close and that takes them back to the assignment page. As a piece of work this is now complete and it will then be added to the student's grades tab as we would any other normal assignment. So to conclude, Reading Progress does enable students to be able to read a passage in a foreign language in an environment that's comfortable to themselves and as a result teachers can see how that student is progressing within a language and can then devote coaching time to less confident readers.